Uh, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we have the FQ40W from FQ777. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we're going to have a look at the FQ77, FQ40. This is a drone that's just come out uh, about a week or so ago. I've had it a week or so. I haven't been able to fly it due to the weather, so I've just done a brief flight with it now. So in the box you get the instruction manual, the app, Password and whatever else you need and what app it is, the HTFS, UFO app which a lot of other things use. You get a fair set of props, a charging cable, some screws for your propellers and the screwdriver. When I say a spare set of props you only get two, I apologise for that. And then you get the drone itself. Yes it looks a lot, a lot like a Mavic Air. You get some prop guards, set of prop guards, which I'm not going to show you for now, and the controller. So, the drone itself looks very much like a Mavic Air, but it doesn't, these don't fold, it's just one piece unit, no folding arms. Uh, the finish is quite nice and it does look, it has the resembles a Mavic Air. It has brushless motor, uh, brushed motors, sorry, geared brush motors, and it doesn't actually run on a proprietary battery for once. So this is a very common battery, you can get these anywhere, I've got hundreds of these. This one is an 800 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt, and it's good for about 8 minutes of flight time. So you get sliding battery hatch at the bottom, the battery just slips in there. And then it plugs in, like that. And then you just put that cover back down. So the battery's in there, you've got an on and off switch at the back here and you've got LED at the back and some really nice bright ones at the front. you got the, just turn it on, so that's the controller, right this thing auto binds, so don't be caught out and trying to go up and down your throttle up and try and take off on you, so it auto binds, it's not like they normally do, so this one, this is the 720p version, so this is actually a W, you can get a FQ40 and FQ40C and an FQ40W and you can tilt the camera. Now, this may just be mine, but when I flew this, the cam, even though it doesn't feel like it does, the camera fell to about there. So the video footage you're going to see is with the camera down. I have no idea why mine did that, but it did. It's very, very light. It weighs about 100 grams max. I haven't actually weighed it, but it's very light and it isn't brilliant in the wind. The clip you're going to see at the end of this is in the wind because there's nothing else I can do at the minute. The wind's been up and down like a year and today's probably the best day but it's still about 10 12 miles an hour. And it was a bit of a fight in the wind to be honest. It's very much, this is very much built for a calm day. It, it really is. So the controller is, tends to be the new kind of format they're looking at. Your phone goes in the bottom, I'm not going to show you because the phone will not stay in. My phone will not stay in this phone holder, it just keeps falling out. You have on here your normal buttons, then you've got take off and land, return to home, or come back somewhere near, headless mode, your left side trim, your forward trim, your backwards trim, and this is your right side trim. Now, even in a calm day, this thing takes, to, you have to trim this out, I could not get this to fly level without trimming it which is not brilliant because other drones I've tried, especially the LBLA drone which I reviewed a couple of weeks ago which was about the same price, needed no trimming whatsoever. This takes a fair bit of trimming, it was a bit disappointing actually. And then you've got gyro calibration up here, so if I press that button it will calibrate my gyros until it stops flashing. Again, you must do that every time on this one. If you don't calibrate the gyros every time you land it, it's going to set off wonky. And then you've got your speed switch here. So you've got one, two, three. And then you've got your flip button on the right hand side. So that's the control. It's got fake antennas as normal. Take three AA batteries, so it's not too bad. It's not. Some of them take four these days. It just runs on three. I have no idea why they fit these fake antennas. They might as well just have this flush at the top and it'll look far nicer anyway. 
but it wouldn't look I suppose like a DJI controller well with the China kid to be fair so back to the drum so as you can see, as you're going to see at the, at the end of the video you're going to see it fly it is windy but I've also flat flown this indoors and it it still needs some trimming out you can get it to fly ice and level but for this price point you can get the LBLA which I reviewed the other week which is a much better drone the Vizio, the Vizio H uh, 809 much better drone. The Eoshin E50A is a much better drone and that's just three off the top of my head I can think of now. It's not a horrendous drone, this cost me £33.40 so it's not horrendous on price at all and that was delivered but there's so much better about these days and it was a bit of a disappointment because all they've tried to do is what everybody else tries to do. Let's make something that looks like a Mavic Air, let's make something that looks like a Spark. I'll give them credit for not trying to make it full, they have made it when it's just a rigid, normal framed quadcopter, but it doesn't fly well enough. For me, it doesn't anyway. Other people, I've seen another review on this, and they seem to like it. The flight time's not bad, and I say, in a calm day, it would probably be not too bad. Inside, it's not too bad. It's a bit big to be flying indoors, but for me, there is so much better about. So, I haven't really got much else to say on it, but thanks very much for watching. I wouldn't recommend this, but there is going to be people out there who will. As I say, watch some other videos. You might get some better. You might get a better idea from theirs. But for me, it's a pass. So thanks very much for watching. Watch the video that's coming up, and have a fantastic day. Thank you.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching